Okay, in this very brief lecture, I want to talk about concept maps for thermodynamics. The idea of uh, of concept mapping is a is not a new one, and people have been using the this uh, practice for many many years. The basic idea of concept mapping is you, when you study a subject, you uh, uh, create a list of uh, concepts and then you put them on a piece of paper and you make connections between them. You don't simply draw lines or draw arrows between them. You Rather, you, in addition to the lines you draw between them, you think of the, the actual relation between, the, between two concepts. For example, here I listed the, uh, a number of uh, concepts that uh, I think are basic to thermodynamics. For example, this system. System is a, is a concept. And uh, uh, let's say we want, to, uh, we want to describe the relation between system and the surroundings. Uh, you think of uh, statements that you can apply to describe the relationship between system and surroundings. One thing I can think of, for example, is system may exchange energy and uh, mass with surroundings. So that's one uh, step in creating and uh, in, in completing this concept map. The reason we want to do concept mapping um, is such is is, is uh, uh, that we we use maps to 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 go to get ourselves into places that we want to be. Uh, we may know the name of a, a place that we want to travel to. Uh, we may know where we are. So we, at least when we travel, we have two concepts. One is our current location, and the other is the destination we want to reach. Unless we know the relation between these two places, these two concepts, we will not be able to uh, travel from point A to point B. So it's the same thing when we try to solve a thermodynamics problem. We need to know the concepts that are involved in the problem, and we need to know the connections between all the concepts that uh, we need to deal with in a particular problem. So this is an incomplete um, concept map, and uh, I have sent uh, the concept map to my thermodynamics class, and uh, you can use the, uh, the, con the incomplete concept map to put descriptions um, for the connections between um, between the, 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 the concepts and that way you complete the concept map when you can uh, freely describe the relations between any two uh, concepts then you're in a very good position in understanding these concepts and their connections and then you should be um, you should do well in solving problems Here is another sample concept map. Um, this, uh, this, the name of this concept, concept map is Forms of Energy. So it deals with uh, various concepts of uh, energy. Um, this is incomplete. It has a number of uh, concepts listed, uh, shown on the map, and uh, some connections created between them. Uh, but uh, we need to put in the descriptions of uh, the connections between the concepts so that uh, we have the uh, uh, complete uh, concept map for forms of energy. For example, here I put one here uh, in describing the relation between internal energy and the um, uh, chemical energy and the nuclear energy. So internal energy includes many forms. Um, it actually includes chemical energy and the nuclear energy. In the um, in, in in this course that uh, we uh, we study, uh, we uh, we do not consider uh, chemical energy and the nuclear energy. So that's outside of the scope of this course, and that's one thing you can say about the, the, the relation between two concepts. Certainly, you can say more about the the relation between internal energy and the latent energy, and the relation between latent energy and the phase of a pure substance. So I hope you can complete uh, the concept maps 
that the, and create your own concept maps. That way, you'll be a very good uh, learner in this particular subject you, you're studying.